It began as a brand focused on demonstrating black beauty and culture to children and adults. Now it's a movement. Afro Unicorn brought the magic to West Michigan with a live action television show. Afro Unicorn founder and CEO April Shower's life has been nothing short of extraordinary. And I've been a unicorn literally my whole life. I've been very comfortable in my skin. I've been very proud to be black, like no question about it. She went to work designing and creating Afro Unicorn with one message in mind. Normalize black and brown beauty to give our black and brown girls a unicorn that represents them so they can love the skin that they're in and embrace the crown on their head. And in as little as four years, Afro Unicorn has captivated hearts all across the nation through books, toys, clothing, and now and a, smile a television show. The show is about four little girls who are entrepreneurs. They own their own shops in our town and they have to deal with what business owners deal with. And they come to me, Ms. April, to get some advice on how to handle their situation. And Miss April went to a team of Michigan filmmakers to tell the story. We were like, how can we pursue this mission? And so John and I came up with the idea, let's shoot it here and uh, involve uh, Golden Hour and Tree Fort Studios uh, to create this amazing live action adventure. Black Pigeon Studios brought April and business partner Askia Fountain, a Muskegon native, to West Michigan to create a fantasy world right in their home state. We know where we came from, we know where we're going, and we know the impact that it's gonna leave on the kids and other businesses, other women, and support. That's our driving daily motivation, period. We're bridging the gap between Hollywood and Michigan. We believe that this project's also gonna bridge the gap between different communities. What once could have been described as a fantasy for April and Afro Unicorn is now a reality. I just cry every day. It's surreal. Championing the love and appreciation of black beauty, empowered by a team of Michigan filmmakers, it won't be hard to catch a glimpse of the magic. It matters to be able to see yourself in anything that, that you do, like having an inclusive brand that you can look up to even in film and, and different television shows. Like, we want to be able to see ourselves. This is who I am, say it loud. Eric Howard, 13, on your side.